Ladies and gentlemen, good Woo! evening. <laughs> and, yes! and welcome to the 2013 Yale Spizwings and Something Extra Parents Weekend concert. Uh, we in the front row are the alumni of the Yale Spizwings, and uh, as you know, the Spizwings are 100 years old this year, making them America's oldest underclassmen a cappella group. Uh, and we'd really like to get this party started, so without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, the Yale Spizwings! excited uh, tonight because we're about to unveil the best freshman class of Spizwings of all time. Hundred, hundred, yeah, hundred years. <laughs> hundred years, they are the best yet, and what better way for them to begin their Spizwing careers than by singing for some of their parents and friends. Can we get all the parents to raise their hands really quickly? And can we get a round of applause for these people? We've got We've got families tonight coming in from all over the place. Ohio, California, Alaska, China, Woodbridge. <laughs> and it's so great to see so many new faces. We can't wait to meet every single one of you. Um, and it's, of course, always great to see familiar faces as well. Uh, so that last song was called Wake Freshman Wake. It's an old Yale college tune of the 1850s. Uh, but we're going to turn it up with this next one called Some Nights. Some nights I stay up cashing in my bad luck. Some nights I call it a draw. Some nights I wish that my lips could fill the castle. Some nights I wish they just fall off. But I still wake up. I still see a ghost. Oh Lord, I'm still not sure what I stand for. Oh, Lord, I'm still not sure what I stand for. Oh. 
That is a tough, tough song to tackle. And Max <laughs> knocks it out of the park every single time. Of course, tonight was no exception. Up next, we've got a Mr. Cole Citronbaum, hailing from, all right, all right, hailing from California. Uh, Cole has a video of himself when he was only 11 years old playing the guitar on YouTube that has over 4 million views. Can't even, can't even wrap my mind around that one. You'll have to all, of course, Check that out as soon as the concert ends, or, or right now on your phones. Um, believe it or not, Cole also has sung backup for Rebecca Black. Yeah. Um, so I think that's apt because it's Friday, and, and Cole's about to kill it on the rhythm of love.
so, so much. Up next, we've got Franklin Zhu, all the way here from Beijing, China. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> all right, we're pausing for everything tonight. <laughs> Franklin um, is an interesting dude. Um, <laughs> he uh, took a gap year, actually, between high school and college and spent a number of months studying opera in Italy. Really, really cool. Um, but he's been known to spontaneously burst into opera which is uh, an interesting thing to witness. Not always socially appropriate, but he's so damn good it doesn't even matter. This is Franklin's She's Got a Way. Toes had 
red nail polish. <laughs> that would skip along the glowing highway <laughs> once upon <laughs> the highway there were one <laughs> 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 Name Max. Max was a very hideous statue <laughs> modeled after the famous painter Pablo Picasso. <laughs> <laughs> the other statues were all made of metal that shined and glimmered and were movable. Interesting. <laughs> Such statue was named Franklin. Franklin was a green pterodactyl. <laughs> he had a little friend named. Arthur was a Tyrannosaurus. <laughs> this Tyrannosaurus decided that he should eat the people <laughs> in the Dwight. <laughs> Thankfully, he was <laughs> then a little lamb ran forth named Michael. The end. <laughs> Thank you.
Thank you guys so, so much. That was, of course, somewhere from the musical West Side Story. Up next, we've got Mr. Arthur Erlinson, who uh, the Spiswinks actually about a, I think this is such a cool story. The Spiswinks last fall break performed at Arthur's High School in Cleveland, Ohio. Um, why we were in Cleveland, Ohio during fall break last year, I still haven't really figured out, uh, Brady. But <laughs> Arthur, Arthur saw us there, and now he's up here with us less than a year later. I just I think, so, think that's really, really neat. Um, fantastic musician and a really phenomenal guy. This is the way you look tonight.
Shenandoah, I love your daughter. Away you roll in river. For her I've crossed the rolling water. Away I'm bound to go across the water. Dear, I'm bound to leave you away, you rolling river, oh Shenandoah, I'm not deceive you, away, I'm bound to go. Michael Tapple on Shenandoah. Michael's here all the way from Anchorage, Alaska. Woo! Yeah. So, so we've, seen, we've seen his fair share of moose and Kodiak bears and Sarah Palin. And <laughs> Michael, actually, in, in addition to being a phenomenal singer, is actually an incredible dancer. Seriously. Like, no joke. After the concert, definitely ask him to show you some of his moves. I'm sure he'd be more than willing to knock your socks off. Up next, we've got a Mr. Felix Kung. My apologies, my apologies to Felix's parents. I cannot do the French last name. Unfortunately for Felix, Kung is spelled just like cancer. So I usually default to Felix Cancer. Um, anyway, Felix is uh, another really interesting dude. He's a runner, and by a runner, I mean he's a runner. Um, a couple weeks ago, we were up in Vermont for our fall retreat, and Felix, Mark, and I were going to go on a run together. I uh, bailed out last minute because my knee was hurting. <laughs> um, but thank God I did, because they got lost in the woods, and 14 miles later, they came back in the dark, covered in mud. Um, so it's, it's a wonder that uh, either of them are here tonight, but thank God they made it out alive, because Felix is about to rock your world with a song that needs no introduction. Inside of my heart, in a space that's 
Show me how to fight for now. And I'll tell you, baby, it was easy coming right back to you once I figured it out. You were right here all along. Looking right at the other half of me The vacancy inside of my heart In the space that now you hold Show me how to fight for now And I'll tell you, baby, it was easy Coming back to you once I figured it out You were right here all along It's like in my mirror My mirror's staring back at me I couldn't get any bigger so much from a truly wonderful audience, so I thought I'd take a break from the singing and tell you all just a quick little story. Yes. Now, it's a completely true story. It happened to me and the Spizwinks not that long ago as we were heading off on our fabulous summer tour to, among other places, Johannesburg, South Africa. Now, the first thing you should know is I'm not that smart. You see, I was up really late the night before we were supposed to leave, playing Twister with my roommate. Yeah, it was weird. And when I awoke the next morning with my right foot still on red, I found that, much to my shock and horror, the Spizwinks had left without me. I was in a complete state of panic. I had no idea what to do, so I did what any of you probably would have done. I ran to the nearest airport. It was a long way, but yes, I ran. And I hopped on the first flight I could find, thinking that naturally that plane would take me from New Haven, Connecticut, all the way to Johannesburg, South Africa. But when I got off that plane, when I deplaned. I found that I was not on the warm, welcoming, relatively safe streets of Johannesburg. No. I was on the mean, mean streets of Cambridge, Massachusetts. <laughs> now, as some of you may be aware, Cambridge is home to a small, unimportant, <laughs> piddling, <laughs> gentlemen, gentlemen, please. It's called Harvard. <laughs> Let me remind you that Harvard is the finest correctional facility on the East Coast. Oh, that's right. So there I was, wandering down those cobbled streets of Cambridge, trying not to run into that famous Harvard alumnus, the Unabomber, when I noticed a small crowd beginning to gather. Gather, gather, gather! And off in the distance, there was a house on fire! Fire! fire. Flames were leaping everywhere! Leaping, leaping, leaping! But that... That was not the most astonishing thing, no, for atop that burning building, wreathed in smoke, there stood a beautiful Harvard maiden. And she was holding her six-month-old baby. Taxi! Taxi! 
And she was shouting, help me, help me, somebody save me and my baby. Well, the crowd thought for a moment. And then the cleverest one among them shouted, jump, it's your only chance. Jump, it's your only chance, jump! They were a small but relatively well-organized crowd. Oh no, it's far too far, we'll never make it. Well, the crowd was pretty exasperated. Oh. But being intrepid souls, they thought for a moment more. Hmm. And then, assuming really, really uncomfortable positions, they thought for an indefinite period of time. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> They shouted, at least we can save the baby. Oh. Throw, Throw the baby. baby, at least we can save the baby. Oh, but who will catch him? He'll splatter on the ground like an egg. Or a hefty bag full of chicken broth. Seemingly, all hope was lost. Oh. But it was then. Just then, in the nick of that very grim time, there stepped forth from that crowd the inimitable, the incomparable, mm, the yes. inimitable, the incontinent, Andover Exeter the Third. <laughs> He's so big! <laughs> and indeed he was, ladies and gentlemen, for Andy here was not your average, ordinary Harvard schmo, no Surrey Bob, no ma'am Susan. Andy here was the star wide receiver for the Harvard Crimson football team. <laughs> and Andy wasn't about to drop that baby because Andy a never a drops a nothing. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> and so our hero warmed up with a few brief but invigorating stretching exercises. <laughs> gentlemen, there is a moral to every story. This story's moral should be quite clear. That is exactly what happens when you, or a loved one, goes to Harvard. Thank you very much. Thank you guys so, so much. Unfortunately, we only have time for one more song this evening. Um, but before we get there, a few really quick things. Uh, stick around after the concert and grab a Spizzwink CD and or t-shirt, uh, both of which make fantastic gifts. Um, that we sold right out front. Yep, right out front after the concert. Um, a huge, huge thank you to Mr. Caldwell for a round of applause for Mr. Caldwell for coming out here and, and recording this. He's done it for so many years and, and every single year we wind up with a phenomenal product. Um, I guess uh, thank you guys for coming out tonight. It's really great to see so many people here to support our amazing freshmen. Um, and lastly, this next one is our traditional Spizzwink alumni song. So if there are any Spizzwink alumni in the, out in the audience, they can come on up. Bye, guys. Ah. 
Be sure to stick around, because right after this, uh, SE Something Extra is going to kill it right up here. Um, and thank you guys once again for being, a, for being a fantastic audience. Take care. This one's called No Regrets. Yeah. 